You didn't hear it? Kim died. <laughs> And then there was like a beat while it got translated, and then it was like Boom. It's always wonderful to see our favorite celebs exhibit their lighter side, whether they're sharing amusing photos on Instagram or telling the best jokes in interviews. However, a handful of them have gone too far and have shared some of the most insulting jokes ever. Fans were stunned when Katy Perry slammed Britney Spears during the 2017 Grammy Awards. When she discussed her new hairstyle, she mocked the pop diva, implying that she would cut off all her hair if she had a public breakdown. It's the last color in the spectrum that I can do. I've done them all, and the only thing left is to shave my head, which I'm saving for a public outburst. That's something I'd be interested in. I'm almost there, definitely, not to stir up any fuss," she stated. It's no surprise that the vocalist of Chain to the Rhythm has received a lot of flack. After all, mental illness is a severe problem that should never be laughed at. Unfortunately, Katie isn't the only one who took her jokes too far. Stars like Bella Thorne and Cameron Dallas have also learned that there is a fine line between amusing and insulting, particularly when it comes to other celebrities. Let's take a look at some of the best celebrity shades and insults about another star. Cameron Dallas mocked Jessica Alba for how many men she has dated. During the 2016 Teen Choice Awards, he was asked if he would prefer to use Justin Timberlake's or Jessica Alba's toothbrush. On the other hand, his remark was utterly disrespectful, and fans were rightly enraged. Oh man, I borrow Justin Timberlake's because I have no idea where Jessica Alba's has gone, he joked. Bella Thorne mocked Felix Kelberg's name. Bella struggled with Felix's last name when she announced him as the winner of an award and laughed about it. You know what Felix, something, something, something. She said, come here if you want to learn the remainder of your name. Fans were less than impressed, and she eventually apologized. Zendia's haircut was mocked by Juliana Rancic, who made a racist joke about it. She slammed Zendia's hair at the 2015 Oscars when she was on Fashion Police. Her hair, in my opinion, gives her a hippie vibe. I get the impression she smells like patchouli oil or drugs, she stated Zendia expressed her dissatisfaction with the remarks, and Juliana issued a public apology. Ollie Murs chastised Taylor Swift for writing a song about Harry Styles. Ollie joked that she should move on after releasing her music out of the woods. Let it go please, make a new story that isn't about Harry. I mean, it's been two years, and he's still getting lashed out, isn't it, he stated. On the other hand, Taylor didn't find it amusing and responded with a retort of her own. According to James McVeigh, his bandmates and him all dated Lauren Jorigui. According to James, the joke was not meant to be taken too seriously. During an interview, though, as Tristan discussed his previous connection with Lauren, James interjected and stated, we all had a go. Fans and Fifth Harmony members reacted angrily as one might expect. However, James then clarified, I apologize if anyone was upset. I was joking when I said that we all believe that. We try to flirt with the band at first because they were all attractive. I failed. I meant that we all tried our hand at flirting. Jennifer Lawrence made a joke about Kim Basinger's death. When Jennifer's former co-star Kim failed to show up for a press conference, a journalist inquired about her whereabouts. She leaned over the microphone and announced that she had died to be amusing. Didn't you hear? Kim passed away, she stated. Jennifer. That's not cool. Miley Cyrus' music makes Calvin Harris chuckle, he joked. With a single tweet, he slung massive shade at Miley. He said, Miley Cyrus songs usually make me laugh aloud. By comparing carriage trend to rice cakes, Rihanna made a racist joke. She mocked Chris Brown's then-girlfriend carriage, who is half Vietnamese, by posting a photo of a pack of rice cakes with earrings and sunglasses on Instagram. At the 2017 Grammy Awards, Katy Perry mocked Britney Spears' mental health. Katy remarked on the red carpet that she'd be willing to shave her head in the event of a public breakdown, which is precisely what happened to Britney. It's the last color in the spectrum that I can do, I've done them all, and the only thing left is to shave my head, which I'm saving for a public outburst. I'm all for that, she stated. Zayn Malik joked that an alien advised him to leave One Direction, implying he didn't take the group seriously. In one of his appearances, he was asked when he realized it was time to leave the band. He only said, an alien talked to me in a dream. 
even though it makes no sense, he was being sarcastic and didn't want to talk about the group at all. Sinead O'Connor has been compared to Amanda Bynes by Miley Cyrus. Sinead wrote an open letter to Miley Cyrus on her blog, encouraging her to be more cautious in the music business. On the other hand, Miley took offense and responded with a cruel joke. She sent a screenshot of Sinead O'Connor's tweets from her public meltdown in 2012 to Twitter with the comment before Amanda Bynes. There was. Harrison Ford and Sean Young played lovers in a dystopian Los Angeles in Ridley Scott's sci-fi blockbuster Blade Runner, set in 1982. When the cameras were turned off, the two could not stand each other. The film crew dubbed their love session, The Hate Scene. The 2015 iHeartRadio Music Awards saw Jamie Foxx make a transphobic joke about Caitlyn Jenner. He mentioned this when presenting the show. Tonight, we had some groundbreaking performances. We've got Bruce Jenner, who'll be performing some musical numbers. He's doing a solo his and her duet.